people uh, to help them disengage from hate movements or hate groups. Uh, you know, people ask me all the time, well, what do you do? And they're surprised when I say, well, I listen. And I listen for what I call potholes. And potholes are the things that maybe deviated their path onto the negative one that they're on. And those potholes could be trauma, they could be abuse, it could be addiction or lack of employment or lack of education. In my case, it was abandonment. It could be mental illness, it could be face tattoos that are stopping them from moving forward. And when I listen and I hear about these potholes, my job becomes to fill those potholes not to argue ideologically with them, even though sometimes I really want to reach across the table and shake them because I've been there and I know that. And now that I've evolved, I've seen both sides and they haven't, uh, but I listen. And when they talk, inevitably they'll tell me what those potholes are without even knowing that they're telling me. And I fill those potholes by finding partners to support them. So whether that be a job trainer, or a life coach, or a mental health therapist, or a tattoo removal service, or even an educator. It's pretty amazing what happens once you make somebody more resilient, and you introduce them for the first time oftentimes to somebody who is the object of their hate, that magically the hate that they feel falls away. Because now that they've been faced with uh, getting to know somebody that they have created this monster in their head. Now they know the real person and it, it's hard to reconcile the hate and the prejudice after that. If you tell me that isolation and ultranationalism are what makes a country great, I would tell you that that's what makes a country less than great because we really need to be able to cross borders, share our common values, and work together to make this world a place that works for all of us equally.